Hello grade 12, now doing task 11.15 with you. Now task 11.13 and 11.14 focus on how to do an age analysis. And task 11.15 is more about the interpretation of the age analysis and in the, the information within it as well as the data's control account. Okay, so this is actually a more typical exam type question because you don't often have to do an age analysis in exams. However, you do need to know how to do an age analysis in order to answer these questions. And obviously, you may sometimes also get the exams. And so, in, this is for Donnie's dealers. You are provided with information relating to them. Um, the financial year ends is 28 February. David Daniels was appointed as a nuclear controller on 1st March. So, briefly explain how the preparation of a data's age analysis can assist Donovan and Davi in controlling their data. Okay, so this is a common theory question about how an age analysis can help. Um, okay, so I've, I've answered in quite a bit of detail, but obviously uh, you can, just for you to understand, you would obviously just pick up on some of the points that stick with you and use those in exams. Okay, so the first point is that we say that the debtor's age analysis is a summary of each debtor's account. And from the debtor's age analysis, the following can be determined. Okay, so problem debtors, provision for paid debts, to determine which accounts need to be charged interest, to determine which accounts need to be written off, to prevent anti tax fraud because it's an internal for internal control. Okay? Um, okay, then other things we can say is it's an effective method of credit control. Okay, so we can ethics um, it's a summary basically of all the data's accounts. We can see which data are close to or have exceeded the credit limits, uh, etc. Okay, so action can be taken against debtors who do not comply by charging interest or taking legal action. Bare debts can be minimized. It can make decisions based on the age analysis of the debtors. Okay, so those are all various things. Okay, this is obviously a lot of information, but you can search out what, um, what you'll remember. In 11.15.2, Turnip feels that the control of debtors has not been satisfactory since the appointment of the new credit controller. Now, generally, when the business employs a credit controller, a credit controller is somebody who is specifically employed to deal with the debtors, to make sure that they are not exceeding the credit limits, to make sure that they are paying on time, to offer discounts for loyalty, etc. So, when you employ a credit controller, actually the collection from your debtors should be much better and you shouldn't have any problems because there is a person who is employed full time to take care of the debtors. So, provide Donovan with at least four key points as to what has possibly gone wrong with regards to the debtors. So, you have to refer to the age analysis and the control account and quote specific information, two points from each. I have given you obviously more than two points and you can just obviously just for you to understand. So, the first thing you look at is the debtors control account. So, if you look at the debtors control account, the balance brought down is 94,500. And do you see that it agrees with the age analysis total of 94,500, which is perfect. That's how it is supposed to work, right? So what we can start off is with the balance brought down. Okay, um, this is the balance brought down at the beginning of the month. So it's 85,770 and this month uh, people have paid 64,500. Okay, so this is the debtors who have not settled their balances from last month. So it's still 21,270 of people who have not settled their balances from last month. And if their credit policy is 30 days, then um, which is indicated in the question, uh, then it is a problem. Okay, so I forgot to read any information. It says all debtors are granted a credit limit of 20,000. So that means that the account can't exceed 20,000. And it's business policy that debtors are granted 30 days to settle their accounts. So that means that in the month of February, uh, everybody who was owing money for January should have paid. And here, 21,270 have not. Okay, so that's the one point we can talk about. We can say that this represents 23% of the total. Now, why I say 23% of the total is 21,270 divided by the 94,500 balance and multiplied by 100. It's just a way for you to bring percentages into your answer. 
And then the next thing we can talk about is the ID checks. Now, ID checks are always bad. So if you look at the ID checks in your data control, the CPJ amount, the debit side, it's 12,250. Together with the discount, which will cancel 380. Okay, and that we again going to calculate a percentage of the balance 94,500, right? And we can say that this is too high, it represents 13% of the balance. Okay, then the next thing we're going to look at is debtors' allowances because this is how much debtors are returning. So that is 3,200, and you're going to get, again going to divide it by 94,500, okay, to get a percentage. But in this case, I'm also going to show you something different. We're going to take the debt of allowances and divide it by the sales amount. Okay, because remember, debt of allowances is subtracted from sales. And we can say that 5% of the sales were returned. The next thing we're going to do is calculate the bad debts. Okay, so the bad debts are 1,600. We can calculate that as a percentage of the balance. We can also calculate it as a percentage of the sales. Okay. And we can just comment on it, right? So bad debts represents 3% of the balance, which is too high. Or you could say whatever percentage of the sales. Okay, so that's one way of answering. So remember that uh, it only required two points. You could have mentioned any one of these two points, right? What else? Instead of using calculations, we could use more notes, okay? So we can say this on a checks amount to 19.6% of payments received from debtors. We received 64,500. Dozen of checks are 12,650. Okay, so we, this is a calculation where we said um, 12,650 divided by 64,500 to get 19.6%. And then we could also the 1,600 of paid debts are written off. We sell too much of credit to unreliable debtors, and debtors are not being screened properly. Then we can say debtors' allowances consist of 4.9% of sales. Too much of stock is returned by debtor. So it's again a different way of answering compared to this, which I've done here. Okay, so that was 11, um, looking at the debtor's control account. The next part of the question, we should look at the debtor's age analysis. Okay, and already just looking at the debtor's age analysis, I can already see that... Um, she, Sakudi, has a total balance of 20,000, which is at the credit limit. And um, Tikawi has a balance of 35,000, which exceeds the credit limit. So we can already say that two debtors have balances which are at the credit limit or exceeding it, right? So the credit controller must ensure that debtors do not exceed their credit limit. That is the whole point of the credit controller. Okay, then we can do some calculations. Now remember, any balances which are outstanding for 60 days and longer are a problem debtors. So we're going to calculate that as a percentage. So we're going to take the 60 days and the 90 days totals and divide it by 100. Okay, and that's 14,600 plus 15,000 divided by 94,500 multiplied by your answer by 100 and you get 31%. Okay, so we can say that 31% of the balance is outstanding for more than 60 days. Okay, so then Tikawi has been allowed to exceed the credit limit of 20,000 and owes a total of 35,000. This should be investigated as how this happened and who was responsible for allowing him to exceed the credit limit. Furthermore, Tikawi has also let us down by not settling his debt on time and exceeding the credit terms of 30 days. He owes us 17,000 from 60 days and over. This is totally acceptable, unacceptable, and his account must be frozen immediately. Okay, so that was just focusing on the specific data, Tikawi, and thus he's just giving you a general answer about the age analysis. Okay, and that's all. That's how you would answer a question like this. Okay, that's all. Okay, bye.